Good morning, hi, my name is Hannah Wilkins. I'm a first year uh, BCMB PhD student. Um, I'm just filming kind of just a day in the life for all of y'all um, to just see what it's like as a first year BCMB student. So welcome and hope y'all enjoy my day. <laughs> so I normally wake up at 7.30 and just so y'all can see my room, um, here it is. Um, it's a decent size, a typical row home size, and here's my desk. And just so y'all can get a bearing of where we are in the city. Here is our rooftop view it's in the morning. It's a little bright out, but you can see down there is like fells. This is upper fells, but down there is like the fells. And then just like inner harbor, harbor east area. Um, Mount Vernon is way over there. You can kind of see the monument. Um, and then here is Hopkins, way over there. And while we head downstairs to get ready for the day, I'll tell you a little bit about the house. So the house is three stories, four if you include the basement. Um, I pay $8.50 in rent and I have two amazing roommates. And this is our living room. Um, I really like it. I think it's really spacious. Um, and we are now heading into the kitchen uh, to start getting ready um, for the day. First, we are going to make some coffee. I feel like coffee is really important in grad school. Um, and then we're going to make some lunch, some breakfast, some toast for today. Just some, have some coffee before my day. I feel like I try to leave around 8.30 or so to walk over to the class. Now that it's 8.30, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to leave and walk over to Hopkins. So it takes me about uh, 15 minutes of a walk to get to Hopkins um, from like the heart of uh, Burfells Point, which is a neighborhood I live in. Some people who live a little bit um, away from the hospital uh, will take the shuttle, which you can see throughout this whole video, um, just driving around. But generally, it just doesn't take too long to get to class or to lab. So this is the preclinical training building or PCDB where we have lots of our classes and there's lots of labs here as well. On today's agenda, our class is quantitative bio lab or QBL, uh, which is more of a techniques um, quantitative class. Today we are learning about CRISPR and how to analyze data from CRISPR screens. Now I am walking over to Starbucks to grab some more coffee. Now that I've grabbed my coffee, I'm going to walk over to lab using the Hopkins tunnels. On my way to lab, I've run into some friends from my cohort at the Daily Grind Cafe. The Daily Grind is essentially in the Miller Research Building, which is where my lab is at. I'm a first year student, so I'm currently rotating in Dr. Janice Clement's lab, um, where I am studying HIV pathogenesis in both human samples as well as the macaque model. Dr. J.S. Clemens' lab is part of a larger network or collaboration of other retrovirus labs. Lots of collaboration here at Hopkins. This is my desk in the graduate student um, office and the view from our office. It's really pretty. And this is just a quick peek to what the lab actually looks like. So my lab day today is pretty relaxed. My goal is to pick up some slides that I've made that I've stained for microglia and macrophages and SIV macaque tissues. So I'm going to grab my slides, which are in the BSL-3 lab, um, and because this lab contains live HIV, SIV, and sometimes Zika virus samples, it's best and protocol just to put on a full gown, gloves, um, and everything just for safety. And here are a few of my slides that were ready. These are frontal cortex and basal ganglia from infected SIV macaques. So what I'm looking at in these tissues are the microglia and macrophages to see if there are any sex differences between the number of these cells in different tissues in SIV infected macaques. So next up, I'm gonna go back downstairs to the Daily Grind Cafe to eat some lunch. And the rest of my day in lab, I'm going to work with my mentor to set up some antibody ELISAs to analyze the number and type of antibodies in SIV infected macaque blood samples. And now that I've finished up my day in lab, I'm just gonna take a quick walk to kind of like the front of the hospital to go to the gym. I try to go to the gym every day after lab. Our gym is the Cooley Center, which is completely free for graduate students. They have a lot of really great things inside, a cardio room, a weight room, and classes. And because I'm really tired, I do not feel like walking home. 
So I'm just going to call a quick lift to take me home. Lifts are free for graduate students who live close to Hopkins. And while I'm home back in Upper Fells, I just wanted to give you one quick view of the neighborhood. It's generally pretty quiet up here in Upper Fells. It's a wonderful community. There's lots of great community events. And honestly, I just really enjoy living here. And just to finish up my day, I'm gonna make a quick smoothie um, and do a little bit more work. So I'm just looking over a few slides for our first class tomorrow for Cell Structure and Dynamics, which is our second to last core class. We just took a final for Principles of Genetics. Fingers crossed that goes well. So my next rotation is with Dr. Namanje Bumpus, uh, who studies um, drug metabolism toxicity, uh, does a lot of mass spec. Um, I'm really interested in HIV and virology, so it's kind of the drug side of that. Uh, so I'm really excited to start uh, third rotation. And so she sent me some papers just to read and look over, uh, just to get prepared for that third rotation. And here we are, just making some dinner. What are you making, Hannah? I'm making some tacos. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Sage C. I'm Hannah's roommate. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing to be the roommate of a BCM student. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Um, I work at a startup. Yeah. <laughs> now with my tacos, I can just relax with some Netflix before bed. And with that, thank you so much for watching my little day in a life. I hope you got to see how much I love Baltimore, BCMB, and Hopkins, and I know you will too.